Guys, I wasn't here before, but I'm here now, and we're back. A lot has happened at the Think Tank since we had the last show. I'm getting uh, fruit from our produce program, because now we get free fruit included in our rent, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, a bunch of people have moved in. Uh, we built this entire side, this kitchen, everything that's around into, you know, this new dark lodge. And yeah, there's a lot of us. Now there's all sorts of new people though. We had Jamie, Jamie was awesome. Um, and uh, Haley moved into his space. Uh, I was in that space before and then I moved into a uh, bigger one. When we started, it was five of us friends just working on the space together um, for a large period of time because Bowden moved to back to St. Louis and he's engaged now. And then John and Caleb were living on, on set and so we never saw them. And SoCal moved back to Sacramento for a while. So I was the only OG that was here. Um, Aurelia is still here, of course. Yeah, we had Nima move in and out. Uh, his spirit still lives on here. A lot of people will talk about him. He was a really important part. Uh, he helped me make the logo, for example. Caleb's little brother, Jake, was here for a while, and he left, moved back to St. Louis. He's planning on coming back to LA. Sam and Seth, two artists who are best friends, grew up together, uh, rent studio space. Um, I don't know if Allison was here yet when we were doing the channel, but um, she's a graffiti artist, like street artist, um, killing it right now. Evan, who got us shut down at a party one time and some for some reason we let him become a think tanker. It's kind of worked out, but he's in Europe right now. Jordan, who never shows up on any of the videos because he's always holding the camera, but started this up again, so one of the more active people around here. Garrett, he has a cool mustache and is uh, building the sculpture for Coffee Graph and Arnaud has an even cooler mustache, and he's from France, so he wins. But Patrick, he um, pretty much does the second most amount of uh, gallery business behind me. Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of new people now. I've been a fan of the Mars Blackman character for a long time. It was Spike Lee's, Spike Lee's Jordan campaign, uh, I think early 90s. And um, I just loved the style that he had. So um, I knew Santi Alley had the big rim glasses and uh, I had the Son of Mars Jordans already. So I figured I would just put it together. Uh, we, I was in Santi Alley. Um, I ran into Drew. We were going down San I was all by myself going down Santee Alley and Drew just like is like stumbling through and I was like, hey dude, well let's find me a chain. And at first I was just gonna I was looking for like those like little like letters and I was gonna try to like super glue it to a chain, but I uh, went online and found this like replica in West Hollywood. So I was like, fuck it. Oh, we're going to West Hollywood. Why? So I can pick up a chain. It says Mars on it. So I can be Mars Blackman, my favorite Spike Lee character for Halloween. We are uh, run away to get a Mars Black one. Blackman? Yeah. Mars yeah. Blackman chain from, uh, what are they called? Mel Melody. Uh, Melody Ashani. Ashani. Yeah. Something, I don't know. Dr you fucking asshole. Then turn right on to empty street. Why you gotta lie to me, baby? <laughs> Yo, Mars Blackman here with my main man, Michael Jordan. Yo, Mike, what makes you the best player in the universe? We made it. We made it. Welcome to West Hollywood, where rich people send their kids to school. Right here, we have the West Hollywood football team. They're not very good, but they're very rich. <laughs> Their jerseys are made by Gucci and cost $12 million. <laughs> you 
have the chain that says Mars on it. Bam! Alright, done. So tight. It would be probably on. Is it the shoes? Check this out. My motherfucking iPhone, bitch. Is connected. You connect phone. Ready. Abby Tall. Hello. What's up, Boo Thang? How are you? Part of my costume involves the chain, and I've got like the pendant or whatever they call it, the like medallion, whatever they call it. But the chain is too small. It's like a choker. I need something a little. I need something with a little more length. I need. I need a little more length. Too bad no one's gonna know who the fuck I am. <laughs> 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 and I, I'm not gonna explain it. This is why we need a TV in here for days like this. This is why we need a TV in here for days like this. My favorite things about the Think Tank is I surround myself with people who, whether it's an artistic talent or just anything at all, everyone's really good at something. It's a good time. It was the first time in a long time where I felt like we all kind of just came together to kind of just kick it. I mean, we spent like hours just kind of lounging around and making juice and hash browns. I was like, all right, I get down on that. Yeah, you like that? Does that look good? America? America, does that look good? place to be. I take it for granted all the time. It's the most important thing in my life and it's completely ingrained into who I am as a person now. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I like I said, I take it for granted, but it's really exciting when I get to show it off and people get excited for it. And I realize like, wow, this is really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah.